people and welcome back to all things now and let's jump straight on to this episode and get on into it ain't no need to beat around the bush so when we start off on this episode we got jim um messing with why going on talking about i seen that look in your eyes this boy he was gonna kill me i seen how he looked <laughs> look what you done done to the boy y'all done sent the boy to the catholic school where he was raped you turned around, you put the boy in prison where Veronica had him raped. But if you hadn't never put him there to teach him a lesson, he wouldn't have been raped. And y'all think he's supposed to be so thankful and happy-go-lucky? Y'all ain't been the best parents. Why, well, y'all think y'all have been the best parents. Y'all haven't been the best parents, so let's just keep it real. So anyway, Jim want to keep on telling him and going to run around behind the boy talking about like he holding up that big old... uh. Queen of London uh, big head statue or whatever and why just looking at him um, just about to uh, pass out from him <laughs> putting all that coke down the sink but anyway they doing the most of me but let's go on and get on to the main thing and this is doggone Veronica she walked you know she walked in on Melissa and um, Benny and okay, so Melissa, so used to Veronica holding her, her hostage for this baby, going on about, <laughs> you care, my grandbaby girl, girl this, girl that, you gonna do this, girl, girl, you can't leave, girl, I'm gonna call your mother, girl, girl. So Melissa thought when she did this little thing with Benny to hurt Veronica and make Veronica mad, you know, she was going to be able to get back at Veronica. All was going to be well. All was going to be good. Nothing was going to be said, right? <laughs> she thought she was just going to act the fool, didn't she? <laughs> nope. Because Veronica said, get out. At the bitch and got him separated and everything. She told her to get out. Didn't give her time to get her clothes or nothing. Put them both out on the stoop. Now she crying and homeless. And my thing is, Benny, what is you apologizing for? You got <laughs> pulled up into this mess. Melissa should have been apologizing to you because now you ain't going to have no attorney. And you know right now, an attorney is what you need, bruh, for real. So now Benny, ain't <laughs> he done made Veronica mad. Now what he going to do about an attorney? I hope he can do some finagling and, and apologizing and whatnot and get back up in her bed, her good graces, some kind of way. Because if not, <laughs> he going to be sitting over there sharing a cell with uh Jeffrey and old Justin going to be trying to molest him next. <laughs> so anyway, so Derek, Hannah, little friend, he pulling out all the moves. He done carried her out to the club. And his little friend at the club, Stephanie Mills, he done introduced Hannah to her and everything. He swear he was going to get the booty tonight. He was doing everything he could to get them panties to drop and um, everything. But y'all, didn't Stephanie Mills look good, though? She she looked like, honey, she ain't aged. She was beautiful. She sung the dog crap about that doggone song. Didn't, didn't break a note. Didn't miss nothing, honey. But anyway, so after uh, they done had their little songs and dances and whatnot, he even going to have the nerve. He, he going to say, uh, you know, they talking and whatnot. He told Hannah he going to choir practice with her. He going to church with her. I don't know what Hannah in this red dress doing to Derek Mine. He ain't even got the goods yet. He already done committed to church, Bible study, choir practice, cooking dinner on Sundays. <laughs> Darn, Hannah, you got some pull. We know where Candace get it from now, girl, girl. <laughs> Honey, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do, Miss Hannah. So, anyway, moving on. He going out in there to say to Hannah, <laughs> she was like, well, you can call me. He's, he he talking about, am I calling? Hannah said, "You, I can't believe you asked me that. You know I'm a Christian woman. <laughs> I told y'all. He's trying to get them drawers. Yes, he was. He said he wanted up in Hannah's hot box. Anyway, so moving on. Then Catherine. 
they get to Catherine's little house. She trying to put all the blame on Jim about why these kids turned out messed up. Okay. You know Amanda killed herself. Why he a drug addict? He crazy. You cannot tell me. It, okay, I agree with Jim. He wasn't there. He was running the street chasing women. He was being the judge of the year, doing whatever he wanted to do, living his life. But like Jim said, Catherine wasn't the mother of the year either. She hired all those governesses and people to see about the land and the house and all them nannies and maids and stuff to see about the kids. And then she put them kids in every violin lesson, piano lesson, tennis lesson, karate lesson, um, ballet lesson, tournament, everything she could put them in so they wouldn't be at the house. That's why Wyatt was over at the Catholic church and wherever he was, uh, board of school thing, give him a lesson by the priest and all that kind of stuff because didn't nobody want to be a parent. That's what rich people do. And the sad thing is, I see rich people do it every day. And I live in a small country town. People got their kids in piano, soccer, tennis, violin, softball, basketball, football, so they can be on social media, they can join all the clubs, they can do all the stuff, but the kids ain't getting no dog on home training. They think because they get home at night at 8 o'clock, and they spend from 8 to 10 o'clock with their kid that they've been parent of the year. Y'all ain't being no parent. Y'all ain't spending no time with y'all kids. That's not uh, being a good parent. I'm here to tell you, and if you watching this and you seeing this and it hurt your feelings, I'm sorry, but somebody need to tell you the truth. If you want to be a, a good parent, put your kids in two activities. The rest of that time, spend keep teaching your kid how to be a good wife, a good husband, how to sew, how to cook um, food, how to raise a garden, all that kind of stuff, nurturing your child and that, that type of stuff. That's why we don't have families anymore because nobody is teaching how to be a family. They teach you how to stay busy and all that kind of stuff. And you need to be teaching them how to watch the world and what's going on in the world because what's going on in the world is going to affect their lives if they can live through what's going on. Anyway, let's go on and move on. So anyway, <laughs> Benny going to show up to Hannah House with Melissa. Of course, uh, Melissa head down. I ain't got nowhere to go. What am I supposed to do? I'm homeless. Hannah like, come on in this house, girl. Let me talk to you. So Hannah gets her over there, sits her down. Let me sit up for this one, honey. Gets her on over there, sits her down, talk to her, ask her what's going on. And she, you know, going and tell her, you know, I'm supposed to be marrying Jeffrey. Ah! Hannah like, Jeffrey who? <laughs> that Harrington boy? Everybody know that boy? Yay, girl. How was you going to marry him? Anyway, she like, honey, you can have a room here. We got plenty, honey. You can just pick one. This old dumbass. Ooh, ain't supposed to cuss. This old arse of a son of hers. After he'd been sleeping with her. So, now they're talking about, Mom, I need to talk to you. Let me talk to you in the kitchen. I don't think that's a good idea. She's really not my friend. Being rude and all of what not and all this kind of stuff. And you've been up in a hot box. So Hannah finally gone in the kitchen and talked to Benjamin. And Benjamin talking about, well, we really not friends. And Hannah done busted him out and said, well, you were sleeping with her, wasn't you? And he said, what, Mom? How you know that? She said, boy, it's obvious. It's obvious you done slept with the girl. Now she done got put out over there at Veronica's. Ain't no need us putting on the streets. Now you done done your dirt. It's done. That's what I'm talking about, Hannah. Hannah, a real mama. That's a real woman for you right there. She done told you like it is. She telling the truth. It is what it is. Exactly. So you think now you done messed up a situation that she was in. You took part of it. You took part in it. You didn't have to go in there. You didn't have to have sex with her, but you did. And now you want, you want her to be on the street? Talking about you don't know her. You knew her enough to crawl up in her. I mean, what? <laughs> so anyway, so now this okay. Melissa got a room, so maybe she can get her little fancy little lingerie from um Veronica. But I think what's gonna happen with this whole situation, I think Benjamin is gonna really end up falling for Melissa. I told y'all day one when they had that car wreck, when Benjamin was more into Melissa than he was worried about Veronica, that he was going to end up falling for this girl. So I believe this is going to end up being a main squeeze and this girl still ain't showing. I'm wondering if she even still pregnant. 
And I feel like she ain't she gonna end up not being pregnant by Jeffrey. Then lost that baby. She gonna end up being pregnant by Benjamin. Moving on. So David uh on the phone with his little uh he done made all his contacts on the phone with this judge. He's supposed to be getting um Jeffrey Bell, but now I wondered if Veronica gonna try to block it. We have to wait to the next episode to see. But I hope he is gonna be able to get Jeffrey out on bail because Veronica doing everything she is to try to block him getting out. Jeffrey better not talk to his mama. He better not sign nothing. He better not agree to nothing. He better not do nothing. He ain't gonna never get out of jail because she trying to keep that boy locked up. She he better not trust her. You can't trust her. You can't trust her. You can't trust her. He better not trust her. He won't be getting out. But anyway, um, Erica, she finally confessed her love to David. I think she's going to really like David. And I think what's going to happen in this situation, she's supposed to be luring David in and get him all hooked up and caught up and marry him so she can get a couple hundred thousand dollars from him and whatnot for Candace. But I don't think that's going to work. I think what's going to happen, she's going to fall in love with David. It's going to be for real and sincere. And then Candace is going to get mad when she don't get this money for her. And then she's going to tell David that that's one of her workers and she's going to have proof of it and all this, that, and the other to break them up and whatnot and what have you. And then ruin it for Erica and all of that. And Erica gonna be crying to David. I see for my life. She gonna kill me. I'm afraid of it. This, that, and other, whatnot. I think that's how it's all gonna go down toward the end of the season. But y'all know me and my little show visions. So anyway, I think that's what's gonna happen with that whole situation. We'll just have to wait and see. But I just feel like that's what's gonna happen. So anyway, why gonna look for drugs again? He went back over there to the iron. What was it? I don't know if it was the Iron Stone horse, wherever it was, with this crazy man waving the gun around or whatever. He gonna try to get some money, but I believe when he go to get some money to try to buy some more drugs, what now? I believe Candy's, Candy gonna be gonna took all his money. He ain't gonna be able to get no money. The man gonna, gonna be gonna beat wide up and do something to him, but I don't know yet. We're gonna have to wait to the next episode. All I know is Candy about two seconds off these millions of dollars that she done deserved. So I can't wait to see how this gonna go down. But anyway. End of the show. Candace just now realizing now Oscar phone at the mouth and uh Rocky Rocco Webbins and they got the new boy down here. He dumb as a box of rocks. I don't trust this boy. I believe he's gonna be undercover with the cops or something because the cops keep having too many people at this hotel being undercover. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let me know if y'all think Erica is gonna really fall for David and she really in love with him for real. Question number one. Question number two, let me know if y'all think Benjamin is really falling for Melissa because I think he is. Give me your opinions below. And number three, do y'all think Oscar's going to be dead? Mm -mm. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. And I will see y'all in the next review. Thank you guys for watching. Later.